Hey guys, what's up? My name's Carly. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone's having a good day and you're ready to see a tutorial on how to do builder gel in a bottle. So I use builder gel underneath my manicures as a layer of protection between my nails and dip powder. I use what's called peel base on top of my builder gel and I don't want my nails to get damaged by constantly popping my nails off. So that is why I use builder gel. In this video, I'm going to be using Vivid Glam's Builder Gel, Dehydrator, their primer, and their top coat. Oh, and their base coat. I'm using all Vivid Glam products today. It's my favorite small business, if you haven't heard me say that before. And I'm gonna show you how to use all of these products together to get a flawless Builder Gel application. So the first step in my builder gel routine is to push back my cuticles with a glass cuticle pusher. This one's from Bonafide Beauty. I think you can get them on Amazon. I think that's where I've gotten mine at least. Um, but I make sure that my cuticles are all pushed back and cleaned so that I can have my builder gel adhere to my nail as best as possible. After my cuticles are all pushed back, I'm going to go in with this cuticle bit on my e-file. I have my e-file in my right hand, so I'm going to put it in reverse. I remember our right hand, reverse right hand, um, if that makes any sense. But I'm going to use the cuticle bit on a speed of 5 and go around my cuticles on all of my fingers. So this next step is completely optional for you. I do it, you don't have to do it because some people don't like filing their natural nails, but I use a very fine grit sanding band and just lightly dust over all of my nails to buff off any shine that is there. Now I want to dust off the dust that my e-file has created from filing my nails before I go in with any of my products. So I go in with the Vivid Glam Dehydrator and Primer. They're actually from her Jelly Liquids, or Jelly Tip Liquid Set. Um, you can get a different dehydrator or primer on Amazon. You can use a mixture of acetone and rubbing alcohol, whatever you have, just make sure your nails get dehydrated. After you dehydrate your nails in some way, please, please, please go in with a gel primer. I used to get lifting so much before I used a gel primer and I was wondering why in the world was my builder gel lifting? It's because I wasn't using a gel primer. I know I am dumb, like you don't have to make fun of me, I make fun of myself. But I am using a primer here. It is the number one <laughs> essential, like, crucial thing to use in your builder gel application so that you don't get lifting of your builder gel. After our primer dries, we can go in with our base gel. I start with my pointer finger and I will do this with every application of gel that we do from here on out. Well, I won't necessarily start with my pointer finger. I will start with a finger other than my thumb. And the reason I do that is to make sure that my gel doesn't pull up on the side of my thumb while 
I am applying gel to my other fingers, if that makes sense. With gel, make sure you are going in with very thin layers on all of your nails and try to make sure you're not getting it on your skin. So you see here, I'm wiping it from around my cuticles. And the reason you want to do this is because it a lot cures on your cuticles. You can get a gel allergy. You do not want a gel allergy because you will have it forever. So do everything that you can to make sure that the gel product is not getting on your skin. Now I'm going to come back to my thumb and like I said earlier, we do our thumb last to make sure the gel doesn't pull on the side of our thumb while it's resting there while we're doing the other nails. Um, after this, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then I'll be back to show you how to do your builder gel. So now for our builder gel application. As you can see, it is a lot thicker than just regular base gel. And if you're new to Builder Gel, this could cause some problems for you because you're not used to the consistency of how thick Builder Gel is. My favorite trick to applying Builder Gel is start with your middle finger. So we're going to avoid doing the thumb until last because of the reasons I said before. But your middle finger is your widest and largest nail of the rest of your four fingers. And because you have the most product on your brush, at first, um, when you first bring it out of the builder gel container, you want to start with your largest nail so that it can get the most product off and then you can move to your other nails. And again, you want to make sure you are not getting any of this product on your skin if you can help it. If you get it on your skin, make sure you take your nail or a tool or something and get it off of your skin before you cure. Because again, this can cause allergies that you will have forever and you don't want a gel allergy. I'm going to knock on wood and say I've been doing this for three years and haven't gotten a gel allergy. Now you're going to see me flip my hand upside down. And this is because we are trying to get our gel to shift to where it will make an apex if that makes sense. Um, you want it to be a little more thicker at a certain at the apex of your nail and when you flip your hand over it allows the gel to shift to create that apex. And you see we're doing our thumb last of course so that gel doesn't pull up on the side of our thumb. So we cured for 60 seconds and we're going to go in with our builder gel again the same exact way that we just did for layer one. Now I want to talk a little bit about curing times and gel allergies again. So first and foremost, I always cure for at least 60 seconds with every layer of gel that I do. I think with base gel for this, the instructions say 30 seconds, which is totally fine. You can follow the instructions, but I always seem to over cure or tend to over cure uh, using air quotes because you can't over cure gel, um, but I cure longer than I have to because having uncured gel on your nail can lead to a gel allergy as well as leaving gel on your skin. So make sure you're always curing for as long as possible. Um, and if you're worried about sun damage or, you know, UV damage from your UV lamp, get one of those gloves to protect your hands. And I would also recommend trying to limit how much you use gel or how often you use gel when you do your nails. I really try to only fill in my builder gel like once a month or like redo it once a month. So I'm not curing very often. If my camera would focus in these clips, I'm showing you what the gel looks like on my fingers. It's just giving me a little bit more protection on top of my natural nails. And you're done. Um, if you want a little bit thicker of a base, you can do a third coat. But for our sake, this is two. And we are ready to move into cleansing. So at this point, if you touch your builder gel, 
it's going to feel tacky. It's going to feel wet. And it's not because it's not cured. It's because it dries tacky. I don't know why it does that. I'm not the person to ask. If you are wondering, Google it, I guess. Um, but you're going to combat this tackiness by rubbing your nail with rubbing alcohol. So take a lint-free wipe or just a regular paper towel, but be warned, you might get little dusties in your nail. But you're going to take this alcohol on a wipe of some sort and cleanse your nail and rub all that tackiness right off. So here's what it looks like after you've rubbed all the tackiness off. It now kind of has a matte finish. And at this point, you can kind of see if there's any lumps or bumps in your builder gel. And the cool thing about it is it is a hard, like structured type gel. So you can take your nail file and buff out any sort of imperfections and shape your nails at this point because it's a hard gel. So you're going to be able to um, shape it in the way that you want to. Now that you're done filing and shaping your builder gel to the shape that you want, go in again with your wipe with the alcohol on it and cleanse again just to get any dust off of your nail before we go in with top coat. Now we can go in with top coat. This is the delicate gel from Vivid Glam. It is a base and top coat combo. So it's a little bit thicker than traditional top coat or base gel, but I love it. It leaves a very shiny finish. And again, we're gonna avoid doing our thumb last and make sure we avoid getting any of this product on our skin. So now we're going to cure for 60 seconds and I'll be back to show you the final results. Look how beautiful and shiny this makes my nails look. I absolutely love the look of Builder Gel. I could just wear this out if I wanted to, if my dip powder came off. So I absolutely love using Builder Gel for that reason. So usually I get about a month, a month and a half and with this builder gel application until I have to completely redo it. So that is wonderful because if I was constantly soaking off, I would absolutely be damaging my nails. So anyway, here is our finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you loved this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions regarding the application of Builder Gel or anything, please don't hesitate to comment them or DM me on Instagram at Dipped by Carly. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!